I've come to you to offer peace. Piss on your peace. Your father would have wept. My father was a weeper. Fight me and you'll lose. I can't lose, Henry. I have time. Well, just look at you. Great heavy arms, but each year they get a little heavier. The sand goes pit-pat in the glass. I'm in no hurry, Henry. I've got the time. Suppose I hurry things along. Suppose I say that England is at war with France. Then France surrenders. I don't have to fight to win. Take all you want. This county, that one, you won't keep it long. What kind of courage have you got? The tidal kind. It comes and goes. By God, I'd love to turn you loose on Eleanor. More brandy wine. You recognize it? They were boiling it in Ireland before the snakes left. Well, things look a little bleak for Henry, don't they? You'll say yes to Richard when he comes, arms, soldiers, anything he asks. I'd be foolish not to. Yes, and withdraw it all before the battle ever started. Oh, wouldn't you in my place? Why fight Henry when his sons will do it for you? Yes, exactly. You've got promise, lad. That's first-class thinking. Thank you, sir. Good night. Good night. You're going? But we haven't settled anything. We open Christmas presents at noon till then. You can't be finished with me. Oh, but I am. It's been most satisfactory. What's so satisfactory? Winning is. I did just win. Surely you noticed. Not a thing. You haven't won a damn thing. Hmm. I found out the way your mind works and the kind of man you are. I know your plans and expectations. You've burbled every bit of strategy you've got. I know exactly what you will do and exactly what you won't. And I've told you exactly nothing to these aged eyes, boy. That's what winning looks like, dame et bien. You. You made my father nothing. You were always better. You bullied him. You bellied with his wife. You beat him down in every war. You twisted every treaty. You played mock the monk. And then you made him love you for it. I was there. His last words went to you. He was a loving man, and you've learned nothing of it. I learned how much fathers live in sons. A king like you has policy prepared on everything. Oh, what's the official line on sodomy? How stands the crown on boys who do with boys? Mm. Richard finds his way into so many legends. Let's hear yours and see how it compares. Well, he found me first when I was 15. We were hunting. It was nearly dark. My horse fell. I was thrown. I woke to Richard touching me. He asked me if I loved him. Philip, do you love me? And I told him yes. Do you know why I told him yes? So that one day I could tell you all about it. You cannot imagine what that yes cost. Imagine snuggling to a chancred whore and bending back your lips into something like a smile, saying, Yes, I love you. And I find you beautiful. I don't know how I did it. No! It wasn't like that! But it was. You loved me.